we have a serious problem. Our friends and neighbors are hungry. And for over 30 years, Bridges to Hope has been part of the solution. Uh, a lady came in and it was her first visit to the bank. She was very, very obviously embarrassed. And it took a lot of courage for her to come to the bank. And I actually filled her hamper for her and gave it to her. And she started to cry. And she really, really cried. And she was, she couldn't tell how grateful she was for it. She said, you never, you don't know what you're doing. And these are the situations that really touch you and you know for a fact that there are people, some people out there who are desperate. They don't know where to turn for their next meal. And that's why we're here. Hunger is, is not something that you need to be ashamed about. I came to realize that unfortunately there's a lot of people uh, need food banks and um, Bridges to Hope tries to fulfill the need and does fulfill the need. It's the biggest food bank in St. John's and um, does, a, does an amazing job of, uh, of what it can do. It, uh, it always needs money, it doesn't get any significant um, government support, so it depends on donors basically and uh, small and large. We supply people with equal access to essential food items and healthy food. So we reduced our uh, canned soup to now we give homemade soup. We make uh, about 30 loaves of bread every single day in our community kitchen. We also uh, offer all our clients have access to fresh fruits and vegetables. We also have a smart snack program um, that enables children to have access to healthy snacks as recommended by Canada's Food Guide, mainly for on the weekends and um, you know after school. Most kids have access to food while they're at school, but there certainly uh, I've come to learn there's a big void that needed to be filled. I've been a client of Bridges to Hope for about six years. Uh, I have two kids. Uh, very expensive living in the city, especially the last few years. I've been coming here now about five, six years. I'm back and forth in the hospital, so I have to rely on a little bit of money every month. And when I haven't, when I haven't got the money, I have to come to Bridges to Hope. As a single parent, it's, it's help. So I've seen firsthand on the front lines the important work that Bridges to Hope does. Food security is a real issue in Newfoundland and Labrador. We have a problem. Our neighbors are hungry, but together we can be a part of the solution. Please help us help others by visiting our website, www.bridgestohope.ca. No donation is too small. <laughs>